Hi there, welcome to another tutorial. This one is um, picking up on a scene that we've previously used, you may recognise it. Um, what I want to touch on in this instance is the use of bespoke textures. A lot of things in Lumion out the box are um, superb, to be honest. But they can be better. Um, you know, you, you, or, or, never mind just better, you might be on a project that requires specific uh, textures, you know, specific material types that are products that are being used on your project. So just want to explore the idea of bespoke textures. And we're going to use a, a flooring as a as an example. Um, just taking a lower shot just so we can show it off. Uh, first things first, let me just, just sort the legs. Okay, so our favorite texture website is uh, SketchUp Texture Club, and we're gonna pick a a nice white parquet floor. So let's not be too picky. Okay, so there it is. Nice resolution as well. That's important. So if we jump back into Lumion, select the floor, new standard material, just remove that normal map. Now what's good is Lumion creates its own bump maps. See there the way it's it's already created a normal map which applies the bump to it, so that's very handy. If we just mess with the scale. I think the bump is a little too harsh there. Save that off. And then look at the detail in that floor. So we've moved from a very detailed internal asset that you can use in your scenes and then we've gone to how we can use you know really high-end textures as well so you can start to see how those things can build up a really convincing interior scene now just for good measure let's just increase the scale of that map a bit more so there's less joints in it just boost that gloss and you can even drop the colour a little bit by just darkening that off and then just sliding the colorization over a little you can see they're just starting to get better reflections with boosting the gloss and there we are bespoke textures in Lumion.